every single trial, no matter how hard it is, no matter how painful it is, no matter how long it is, for a believer, it will always be a blessing. Always. Why? Because a believer will look at trials with faith in Allah who is merciful. And because of that, that trial, even though it may appear to be punishment, even though it may feel very painful, in reality, it will be a blessing, inshaAllah. Now, how is it that we can convert our trials and challenges into real blessings? This is something that we need to think about. That suffering trials, suffering from difficulties, is a proof of Allah's love for you. This is a proof of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's love for you. What do I mean by that? Tell me something. If your child comes and says, Mom, can I please eat this pack of Sour Patch? The whole pack. First thing in the morning before breakfast. What are you going to say? No. No. What is he going to say? Why? And then that why will turn into a tantrum, which might turn into a you know a full crying session, right? Now the child, your son, is upset, sad, very very sad, because you refused candy, right? But why did you do that? Why did you say no to him? Why didn't you just give it to him? Don't you love your child? Don't you want him to be happy? Why did you say no? Because it's not good for the child. So what? Why? Why are you making that decision for him? Because you care about your child. You care about his teeth. You care about his health. You care about his nutrition. Isn't it? You care about his future. This is why you are depriving your own son of the very thing that he desperately wants and is crying for. And it's very painful for that child. But why do you do that? Every single day. Don't we experience this as mothers? Don't we? Or as older sisters? All the time. I mean, my son, he's only six years old now. He said to me, Mom, how come you don't allow me to do what I want to do? And I was thinking, you're only six. What's going to happen when you become a teenager? Right? But why do we do this? Because we love our children. Isn't it? We wake them up in the morning, even though they want to sleep. Why? Because they have to go to school. We force them to eat their breakfast because we love them. So sometimes in our lives, we are made to go through things that we don't like. Or things that we like are not given to us. Why? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hates us? Dislikes us? No, He cares about us. In a hadith, the Prophet ﷺ said that if Allah wants to do good to somebody, He afflicts him with trials. مَن يُرِدِ اللَّهُ بِهِ خَيْرًا يُصِيب مِنْهُ Allah puts him in difficulty. Why? So that Allah can reward him. So that Allah can reform him. So that the servant can correct himself. So that his sins may be erased. So that the servant can improve himself. So trials, difficulties, they're not meant to humiliate us. They're not meant to destroy us. They're meant to elevate us, make us stronger and better. In a hadith we learned the Prophet ﷺ said that a person has a position near Allah. Meaning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants that a person should attain a specific level, a specific rank. Alright? But this person is not able to attain that level through his actions. He's weak. You know, for example, you set high goals for yourself. Ramadan just came and went. Right, we set goals for ourselves. I have to read the whole Qur'an cover to cover at least once, at least twice, at least three times. And by the end of Ramadan, you're sitting wondering, I barely managed to read half of the Qur'an. You set a goal for yourself, but you weren't able to accomplish it. Right? You tell yourself, I'm going to get up tonight and pray tahajjud. And what happens? You barely wake up in time to pray one with it. Right? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also has a certain rank for His servant. But a servant is not able to attain that rank just by his actions. So then what happens? The Prophet ﷺ said, So Allah continues to test him through what he dislikes until he attains that position. 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make that person go through difficulty upon difficulty upon difficulty. Why? So that because of his sabr, he can reach that high position that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decided for him.